Come to us, we've had a bunch of bands, some jazz festivals, some uh, performances. This band in the Jazz G Band went up to the Reno Jazz Festival. We heard the thing up there, and uh, so these next few tunes, uh, except for one of them, this is our, kind of like our greatest hits tunes that we've uh, been working on all semester, playing at different jazz festivals. Uh, probably the last time we played these songs. Uh, but anyways, uh, we're going to start with a tune entitled Charlie the Whale. I know that's for some of our parents, that's one of their favorite tunes. Yeah. A real cute story about this. Have you guys heard? It? So we we played this twice for Tucker. Anybody from Tucker Middle School here? Yeah. yeah. I mean, not like currently from Tucker. You're in college, bro. What's going on? <laughs> hey, she went to Tucker, everybody. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyways, uh, so we played this tune a couple times for the Tucker kids. And I spoke to a parent last night, and she said, "Man, my son loved that song. He plays tenor saxophone." And he's, he's learning how to play it, and I said, I'll oh, just give him the music if you want. And she goes, no, he made me buy it online, and, and he, he's just playing this song every day, which is really cool because I don't think these guys realize how much they inspire the younger students in the middle school. Uh, so, job well done. Right? Uh, anyways, this is titled Charlie the Whale, and we're here for Joseph Rojas on the tenor saxophone. <laughs> Kent Kawhi on the trumpet. Uh, Sam Hatsula on the saxophone, and Adrian Adarlo on the alto saxophone. This is Charlie and Will. Here we go.
Thank you very much. Charlie the Moon. All right, we're gonna change styles here. We're gonna get down with a, a funk tune that we uh, got just a, a few years ago when we had Bijan Watson, the great Bijan, on trumpet. Uh, have you guys seen La La Land, that movie La La Land? We were there in the jazz club and there's a big guy playing trumpet. He's a good friend of ours in the program. And he gave us this tune to play. It's called For Me To Know. And, uh, oh, oh, I forgot. Yes. We have a very special guest. Please put your hands together for our principal, Mr. Joey Davis, right over here. <laughs> principal of Colorado High School. He loves the attention. So keep it going for Joey Davis, everybody. <laughs> and his lovely wife, Rachel, everybody keep it going. Sorry, did I embarrass you now? It was great working with everybody, so. Well, we're always uh, very thankful for all the support that we get at Eldorado High School from our, our staff and administration. It's really great to have uh, the Davis here uh, joining us for lunch. And uh, they used to come here all the time, is, am I right, with their family? When this was all open? Do you guys remember when this was open? I don't know. Yes. Before my time. Thank you very much. We're getting there, we're getting there. We'll, we'll have this down by next week. But anyways, thank you, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Davis, for being here. Uh, this tune is titled For Me To Know. We're going to hear, uh, man, we just can't get enough of Kent Guado on the trumpet, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're also going to hear, uh, is there, are there flutes in jazz? All right, well, we're going to have Adrian Darlow on the flute, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. And we're also going to have Woody Asicheski on the trombone. Yeah. And how about this rhythm section, yeah? So you better take a show. We have Dave holding it down. We have Matt Bosco and Josh Knight on the piano. We got Itai Hewitt on the guitar. And as I mentioned, uh, our freshman drummer, Owen Trail. This is called For Me to Know. Who's the bass? Jacob Flores. Did I miss him? Did I miss him? Did I miss him? Jacob Flores on the bass. Yeah. 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 <laughs> He's forgotten you already, Jacob. That's why I need to remind him.
Thank you guys for your hard work and dedication. Uh, we're going to uh, have a great rest of the year, yeah? Uh, but we're going to feature one of our seniors on the flugelhorn over here. Please put your hands together for Gabe Moeller. We're going to feature one on the flugelhorn too and the title of the Wendy.
All right. Well, this next tune is a fun tune by a, a good friend of mine uh, from Oregon. He's a Check, check. Oh, that's better. Is that better? That's better. Anyways, um, the composer I met through the Reno Jazz Festival. Uh, this tune is entitled Get It. And there was a couple weeks where I missed school from uh, being out sick, and then I went to a conference, and not necessarily that order. Uh, but uh, I told them, just take the solo section and make something out of it. Whatever it is, I'm sure it's going to be cool, and you're going to witness their independent learning. <laughs> and study on this tune uh, about halfway through. Um, so enjoy. It's not one of those typical jazz tunes, but it's fun nonetheless. We're going to hear from uh, Joseph Rojas on the tenor saxophone, Professor Morgan on the trombone, and uh, I think your rhythm section is going to get down on this tune as well. So, oh yeah, we don't even know yet. All right, so this tune is entitled Get It.
feet. They don't need me. <laughs> they give it up for these guys one more time. All right, well, we have one more tune for you guys, and uh, before we play, we're going to have a presentation from President Jazz, Jim Harlow, one more time. But I do see a lot of current and former students from El Dorado High School. If you're an alumnus from El Dorado, can you please stand up? Alumni, stand up. I see a couple of you guys out there. Any alumni? Yeah, everyone. Hey, what's up? Uh, any current students out there from El Dorado High School? Yeah? Oh, they're all outside. Oh, hey, guys. All right, well, uh, man, it's been uh, so great to be here with you guys and play some live music, have some great food. Um, you know, I don't know for you guys, but for me, there's nothing like live music. Yeah, just being in the midst of things and uh, just hearing it because uh, once these guys play the tune, it's not recorded, we can't go back and watch. I mean, we can watch it again on video, but it's just not the same. Uh, but to have live music in our lives is, is certainly a pleasure. And thank you guys for experiencing this with us and giving us the opportunity to share our music not only with these guys, but with jazz too as well. So thank you guys for being an awesome audience and uh, give yourselves a round of applause. Give these guys a round of applause. Alright, well this time we're going to bring back the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Jim Harlan from Friends of Jazz. Yeah. Uh, Eric, I have some bad news for you. Uh -oh. No no scholarship again this year for you. Oh. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to work on an honorary scholarship or something for you. Good interest. <laughs> you know, there's um, an intangible I look at when I see a performance, performance from high school jazz bands. It's an intangible element. It's hard to define. It's either on or it's off. And it's the relationship between the band director and the performer, the player. And I can tell you, with this band, it's on. We've got one hell of a band director here in Gary. We've been seeing him for years. And uh, we want to uh, start giving money away. We want to give $500 to the high school jazz program in El Dorado. Appreciation is awarded to El Dorado High School Jazz Band in recognition of outstanding achievement in jazz performance. Thank you, El Dorado High School. A lot of moving pieces go into giving a scholarship. El Dorado makes it very difficult because level of performer here. And there's a lot of skill up there. We recognize that. We look at achievement, accomplishment, excellence, command of the instrument, dedication, sacrifice, all of those things that go into making, you know, a tremendous scholarship winner for Friends of Jazz. There's one person here today that caught our eye we like the vibe, uh, the dynamics from this person. The Friends of Jazz is honored to award a $500 scholarship. That's to your killer bass player. <laughs> Uh, soda pop and all that good stuff. And, uh, 
Just want to say thanks again for being out here. Don't forget on June 3rd, Friday night, in the Performing Arts Center right at El Dorado High School, the great Francisco Torres is going to be playing with us on trombone, and, the, and uh, Pancho Sanchez on percussion, um, and with this band, with Jazz 2 and Jazz 3, it's going to be an awesome night of music, a night of Latin jazz, a lot of swing happening, um, but it's just going to be a great night to be back in the pack, jamming on some tunes. Uh, well, thank you very much, and give a round of applause for Main Street Restaurant for having us. Thank you so much, my name is Eric Sampson, this is Everett of Jazz One, and this is a tune that we've been closing out our sets with, entitled Mexicali Nose. We're going to hear from uh, Joseph Rojas again on the tenor saxophone, and back there on the drums, Mr. Owen Creo. This is Eldorado of Jazz One. Thank you very much, have a great afternoon.